All right. DJ Pro AI for the iPad versus the phone. What are the differences? Well, obviously, there are, are going to be some compromises when we're DJing with the phone over the iPad, and the biggest difference is going to be size. DJ Pro AI for the iPad is already very busy and a little bit cramped, and you can't see everything on every screen. So with the phone, it is going to be even more busy and even more restrictive. So right now, we are in classic mode in portrait so i'm going to show you guys portrait real quick i'm going to go through in portrait mode then i'm going to go through in landscape mode because it changes pretty significantly all right so in portrait mode on the ipad when we're in classic mode we have access to two job wheels well they're actually uh emulations of record decks but they function just like jog wheels you could scratch you can move position in the song and do all of that and then down here, we have a volume slider that we could turn into EQ and volume slider. And then we have access to everything we need. Neuro mix, cue points, loops, FX, and then another equalizer. And then down here, we have neuro mix, set, cue, and play. Let's see what we get in classic mode in portrait for the iPhone. All right, so we have... This is what we see. First of all, the record, you only get like, I would say, maybe 60% of the record or jog wheel. If you look at how that's spinning, it's it looks kind of weird, but it still makes it easy to scratch, and you could do as much scratching as you want. You don't really use the other side of the jog wheel when you're scratching, so I thought that was really cool how they just kind of cut it off a little bit. What we don't have is going to be... Uh, pretty much no mixer. All we get is the buttons that are down here in the bottom on the iPad. We have neuro mix in the middle. So when we press that, we could select either vocals only or instrumental only. And then if we press down, we could change it from percussion to tonal. So we don't get this really cool slider that we get for neuro mix in for the iPad, which I really like but you could still use the feature pretty well. And then we have our BPM, sync, set, and then Q. And now you may be asking yourself, how do I get to the EQs? How do I get to the loops? How do I get to all the other stuff that I see down here on the iPad? Well, good question. You're gonna press either the one or two. So we are doing deck two. So we are gonna press two. So now when we press two, it's gonna show us the deck two only so you don't get to see the first deck and then if you leave it like this you have a big view of the jog wheel which is good for scratching and it looks pretty cool and then if you press the button here it looks like the um eq button now we have access to the same menu down here but for only one side at a time so we have our nero mix we have our q we have looper fx and then we have our mixer. So one big difference. And then if you want to go back to seeing both decks, you press this mix button here. And then you're back to seeing both decks. So if you're using the app on classic mode in landscape mode, I mean in portrait mode, it's going to be a little bit difficult to do a lot of things at the same time. Much more difficult than doing it just on the iPad. That doesn't mean it's impossible. You could still DJ great like this. But just keep in mind, you're going to have to be uh, switching through the screens a little bit. All right, now let's go over to Pro Mode. And I'm not going to go through all of them because the Looper, Auto Mix, and One Deck are pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to do Classic and Pro Mode in this tutorial. So now we go to Pro Mode. All right, so... So we see in Pro Mode right now in portrait we have a big view of our waveforms on the ipad you could use these waveforms as a jog wheel you could scratch you could adjust the timing of the song and then the bottom down here is exactly the same so i'm not really going to talk too much about that for the ipad but let's look at the phone because the phone we get a completely different thing so this is classic mode on the phone. We just get the two decks, and then if we want to go to our mixer, we have to press the one or two like I showed you. But in pro mode, 
Now we have the we have these two jog wheels. These are more Serato or record box like jog wheels. And they give us information on how much time is left in the song, the BPM, how much the BPM is adjusted. And then we get these really cool view of both song, both tracks, waveforms. So we could see the jog wheel and the waveforms at the same time. And then if we want to go to the EQ section, we could press EQ. And then now we have a full view. It's the same EQ that's on the iPad. You can do lows, mids, and highs, and you can control the volume, and you could control the filter. Pretty much everything you would need on a mixer when you're DJing, and it works really great. I would recommend if you're DJing on the iPhone and you want to hold your phone like this and not look like a weirdo holding it like this, then I would definitely say stay in pro mode. And then if you want to go into your looper and everything, it's the same thing as classic mode. You're just going to press the two, and then there you go. You have all the options that you get on the iPad. So Pro Mode makes it a little bit easier. You could do more things on the same screen. All right, so now let's go over to Landscape Mode. So I'm going to go... All right, so first of all, what we're going to see is that this is the only screen where it is exactly the same on the phone as it is on the iPad. Literally every button, every knob, the job wheels are all exactly the same, except they are obviously significantly smaller on the phone. All right, so let's see if we could find any differences here. So if we go to the middle button over here, the waveform button on the iPad, we could see waveforms and we still get our job wheel. If we do the same thing on the phone, on the phone, we just get waveforms and no jog wheel. And then now in if we go, it's in the same screen and press the EQ button on the iPad. Now we have EQ, uh, either effects, EQ, looper, whatever you want. And then we have our waveforms. And then on the phone, we get the exact same thing, except on the phone, we no longer have access to our BPM. You see how on the iPad, we have access to our BPM, but on the phone, we do not. So that is one thing that is going to be missing. And then the same thing, if we put it into the volume slider mode, we get the same thing on both screens, except we do not get access to the BPM slider or the sync button like on the iPad, or the the little loop icon. Of course, you could use the looper in this menu on the phone, but that is one thing that you're going to lose. But other than that, it is basically the same app. So if you guys are DJing, getting into DJing on your phone, and you're thinking, and you think you have to get an iPad to continue your DJing, you don't having a new phone especially a phone with a big screen like this one this is the iphone 14 plus you'll be able to dj just fine and do everything that you need to do with a phone that you can do with an ipad so thanks for watching if you found value with this video give the video a like and if you want to learn more about djing on the phone djing on the ipad and basically just the future of djing subscribe to the channel thank you